Hey guys, in the previous two videos we have discussed uh, the transform and ROC of uh, finite length and infinite length sequence uh, where under that still we st discussed on left sided, right sided and double sided sequence right. Just to recall, uh, ROC of a finite length right sided sequence is entire z plane except at z equal to 0 right and ROC of a finite length left sided sequence is entire z plane except at z equal to infinity and uh, ROC of a finite length double sided sequence is entire z plane except at z equal to 0 and infinity right and similarly ROC of a infinite length right sided sequence is outside the circle with radius a and ROC of a infinite length left sided sequence is inside the circle with radius b and ROC of a uh, infinite length double sided sequence is actually it's it's kind of uh, ring kind of shape in the z plane something like this I have it actually it's a kind of something like this right it's a kind of ring in between a and b where a is a right sided sequence and b is the left sided sequence right fine <coughs> Now, uh, I I just have to say a few more points on ROC. Uh, let me finish it in this video. Okay. So, say I have a infinite length right sided sequence. Uh, the sequence is something like this x of n is equal to say 0 0.1 power n u of n plus 0 0.6 power n u of n plus 0 0.4 power n u of n. Okay. I want to find its Z transform and uh, ROC. Finding Z transform is not a big deal. We already have the uh, standard format for this. What to, what is the Z transform of X of n is equal to a power n u of n? We derived it right. So it is X of z is equal to what? Z divided by Z minus a, right? And what is ROC? Magnitude of Z is greater than magnitude of a. It is nothing but outside the circle with radius a, right? And so we apply this result here. So x of z is equal to solution. X of z is equal to this is in, in the form of a power n u of n, which is nothing but z u by z minus a. What is this ROC? Magnitude of z is greater than a is 0 0.1 here, 0 0.1, right? Plus what is the transform of this? Z u by z minus 0 0.6. Z u by z minus a, right? What is its ROC? Magnitude of z is greater than 0 0.6. Okay. Plus what is this? Z u by z minus a, a is 0 0.4. What is its ROC? Magnitude of z is greater than 0 0.4. These are the individual ROCs for individual sequence. But what we need here is uh, the combined ROC. Okay. So whenever we have more than uh, one sequence in this uh, in our signal, uh, its ROC is actually intersection, right? Uh, it's nothing but the combined ROC is magnitude of z is greater than 0 0.1 intersection with magnitude of z is greater than 0 0.6 intersection with magnitude of z is greater than 0 0.4 so the regions where all the three will intersect will be the uh, combined region of convergence for this sequence okay uh, in this case we have totally how many circles we have three poles right one two three so we have three circles one is at point smaller circle is this this pole is 0.1 this pole is 0 0.4 and this pole is 0 0.6 so I have three circles, 0 0.1, 0 0.4, and 0 0.6. Okay. So all are here. It is greater than ROC is greater than 0 0.1 for this sequence. ROC for this sequence ROC is greater than 0 0.4, and for this sequence greater than 0 0.6. Okay. When I put this arrow mark, actually it's the whole whole part of it. Okay. So this is for second circle and this is for the third circle with radius 0 0.6 now here we have ROC of only 0 0.1 circle in this region right whereas in this region I have ROC of 0 0.4 circle as well as 0 0.1 circle right this cannot be considered as a combined ROC whereas outside in this region greater than 0 0.6 I have ROC of both 0 0.6 circle 0 0.4 circle and 0 0.1 circle okay so therefore Combined ROC is combined ROC of this sequence is magnitude of Z is greater than 0 0.6. In the sense, it is outside the outermost circle. So I I cannot write I cannot show like this. I can show like this. Its ROC is this is 0 0.6. Okay, this is the ROC of the given sequence. 
okay so this shaded portion is roc this is real part offset and this is imaginary part offset so as a set transform of this sequence is this i can even simplify this but we'll keep as it is for time being okay this is the result transform of the sequence and this is the roc of the given sequence fine so basically if i have more than one sequence it will be always more than one sequence and if it is right sided sequence it is always outside the outermost circle okay roc is outside the outermost circle fine next we'll take up one one more example i need to discuss say i have minus 0.2 power n u of minus n minus 1 plus 0.3 power n u of minus n minus 1 plus 0.6 power n u of minus n minus 1 so this is the sequence i have x of n and i want to find its z transform at roc okay so again we already have the standard result for this we will use that x of z is equal to uh, we derived it right what is the z transform of x of n is equal to minus b power n u of minus n minus 1 it's a transform x of z is what z u by z minus p but its roc is less than magnitude of p okay roc of a power n u of n and r uh, sorry z transform of a power n u of n and z transform of minus b power n u of n u of minus n minus 1 are same there it is z u by z minus a here it is z u by z minus p whereas the difference is in roc there roc is outside the circle here roc is inside the circle with radius p okay so what is minus b power n u of minus n minus 1 it is z u by z minus p right it is z divided by z minus what is the value of p it is 0 0.2 if you have minus you have to put plus here okay now we have plus here but we derived it for minus of so i have to put minus this is z divided by z minus what is p 0.3 what is the roc for this magnitude of z is less than 0.2 right and here magnitude of z is less than 0.3 and i have plus i have to put minus here z divided by z minus 0.6 what is the roc for this magnitude of z is less than 0.6 fine so what is the combined roc combined roc is what magnitude of z is less than 0.2 intersection with magnitude of z is at less than 0.3 intersection with magnitude of z is less than 0.6 Fine. So what, so what is the combined ROC now? If I take it to Z plane, so this is the real part of Z, this is the imaginary part of Z. I have three circle with 0.2 radius, with 0.3 radius, and with 0.6 radius, right? These are the three circles I have. Now, for 0.2 radius, it is less than here. ROC is, is, is less than. Whereas for 0.3 radius, it is less than. So it comes inside the circle whereas 0.6 also it comes inside the circle fine so in anyhow outside we don't have any coverage right so all the three rocs combines where it is less than the it is less than actually of 0.2 radius circle right so this this part this part has all three circles uh, ROC therefore ROC of this is actually basically it is less than 0 0.2 0 0.2 so this is the ROC real part of Z imaginary part of Z in the sense ROC I can write this as ROC is magnitude of Z is less than 0 0.2 the concept I'm trying to tell here is ROC of a infinite length left sided sequence is inside the innermost circle okay inside the innermost circle if it is a left sided sequence if it is a right sided sequence if it is a right sided sequence more than one right sided sequence it it's actually outside the outermost circle basically i have to check the regions where all sequence all individual sequence roc will inter intersect that region is actually combined roc okay